long-awaited AEW debut has been confirmed, and what will the AEW surprises be? But first, Roman Reigns has been banned from TikTok. Last night, eagle-eyed wrestling fans would notice that the TikTok account of Roman Reigns had been banned from the platform, wiping out his 1.3 million followers and 7.6 million likes. Right now, there is no word on exactly why Reigns' account was removed from the platform, with him seemingly not posting anything controversial in the slightest, although people online have speculated that he may have been flagged under the policy that forbids simulated violence. It's likely that WWE will be able to restore the account in the near future, given their sheer size and influence, although the bad news follows even more bad news for the Tribal Chief this past weekend, where he was pinned for the first time in three and a half years. Roman now heads into Friday Night Smackdown, where he will face his cousins, the Usos, in the Tribal Court, as the trial of the Tribal Chief commences. And before we carry on, let me just quickly promote the latest upload on the WrestlePlanet Gaming channel, where we discuss 10 AEW stars that are missing from Fight Forever, and what this means for the future of the video game. And next, a new contract has been signed in All Elite Wrestling. We recently discussed a story concerning QTV's Harley Cameron, who was elevated to a full-time deal in AEW, and it looks like she isn't the only one to have received a promotion in the promotion. According to Fightful Select, Diamante, the former tag team partner of Eva Lise, was recently bumped up from a Tier 0 deal, which was typically reserved for AEW Dark Talent back when that was a thing, with her now in the company on a full-time basis. On top of this, she has been added to the official roster page on the AEW website, a further sign of her increasing involvement. Next up, a main roster WWE superstar has officially been moved back to NXT. Over recent weeks, former WWE United States Champion Baron Corbin has been competing on the black and gold brand with him returning to his lone wolf persona, with him dropping any comical elements of his character. According to Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio, Corbin is now officially a full-time member of NXT, with him noting that there will be more similar moves in the future from the main roster. The news follows Corbin Corbin's loss to Carmelo Hayes for the NXT Championship last week, although it seems that this run wasn't a temporary one just to put the champion over. A vignette would air this week on NXT that saw Baron throwing any elements of his former gimmicks onto a fire, with him set for a hard reset in developmental. And next we have a health update regarding a major AEW star. Last week, fans would be left concerned over the status of the icon Sting following his involvement in the show's Tornado Tag main event, which saw him leap from a ladder to the outside of the ring, landing face first on the knee of Sammy Guevara, who was laid out on the two tables. Sting would be left bleeding from the mouth, with him telling the audience in attendance that he was okay after the show went off the air. Well, his tag team partner Darby Allen would appear on Busted Open Radio this week, where he would provide a further update on the stinger and he would say, He's actually doing great. We talked the day after and he said he was feeling great, which is awesome because I pulled him aside after that match and said, yo, be honest with me, how are you feeling? Not just your mouth, but your neck, every single thing about your body. Because people forget, he kind of retired in 2014, you know? When he took a buckle bomb, people kind of think that, you know? So for him to be going as hard, and trust me when I say this, it's none of my ideas, it's all him. He's just like, all right, there's a ladder here tonight, so I'll jump off it. And a lot of people think it's me being kind of being the bad influence, but no, it's him. He's got that hunger, he's got that want to give the fans something, and he's feeling great, and I'm stoked. At the age of 64, it's unlikely that we'll see too many bumps like this from the icon going forward, with him seemingly now taking a short break, with Darby Allen now competing in the AEW Blind Eliminator Tag Tournament alongside Orange Cassidy, who advanced through the first round last night on AEW Dynamite with a win over Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. And speaking of AEW Dynamite, we have the latest on the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. Last night on Dynamite, the final first round match of the Owen Hart Cup would take place with Ruby Soho going one-on-one -on -one with last year's winner, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. In the end, it was Soho that advanced to the semi-finals, this thanks to constant interference from the outcasts Soraya and Tony Storm on the outside. This means that Ruby will now meet Sky Blue next week on AEW 
AEW Dynamite for a spot in the final, with the two going face to face after the match last night. Whoever wins the bout between Sky and Ruby will then meet the winner of Athena and Willow Nightingale in the finals, a match that goes down this Saturday night on Collision. The Collision show will also see both men's semi finals, Ricky Starks vs. Powerhouse Hobbs and CM Punk vs. Samoa Joe, with the finals then set for the July 15th edition of the Saturday Night Show. Next up, an All Elite Wrestling debut is set for AEW Dynamite. On last night's episode of Dynamite, a vignette would air to hype an impending appearance from independent standout Nick Wayne, who is set to turn 18 next week. Fans would be introduced to Nick by Darby Allen, who would recall meeting him when the former was just a child. Darby was trained by Nick's father, Buddy Wayne, who would pass away in 2017, and upon his death, Allen would vow to give his son every everything he ever wanted, this before later presenting an AEW contract at a Defy Wrestling show in February last year, after making a name for himself on the scene. It's since been confirmed that Nick Wayne will make his television debut next week on AEW Dynamite, with him set to enter battle against fellow Washington State rival Swerve Strickland, somebody he too has a storied history with on the indies. Elsewhere on Dynamite, the field is set for the upcoming Blood and Guts match. Last week, John Moxley would challenge the Elite to the multi-man cage match for the July 19th episode of Dynamite, which goes down inside the Boston Garden. Last night on Dynamite, the majority of the competitors were announced, however, there is two mystery spots left to be filled. On one side, John Moxley will be joined by Blackpool Combat Club teammates Wheeler Yuta and Claudio Castagnoli, as well as the group's recent ally, Konosuke Takeshita. The Elite is set to be represented by Kenny Omega, Hangman Page, and the Young Bucks. With that said, the match will see five men on each team, meaning there is a mystery spot in each side. We can confirm that on the BCC side of things, they won't be joined by Brian Danielson, who is out due to injury. And it was also confirmed that Eddie Kingston will be busy with the G1 Climax in New Japan, ruling him out of contention for either team. The show would see Don Callis attempt to recruit Chris Jericho as part of his family, with this perhaps revealing who will be on the side of the BCC, a segment that seemingly raised questions from Daniel Garcia backstage, who may be on the other side. After the show, however, Kenny Omega would continue to tease who will be on his side in the match, referencing a recent post-show promo where he claimed to recently be out of the United States and Canada, potentially teasing a vacation to Japan, and he would say, there was a week where my whereabouts was unknown. I didn't stay home. I didn't go to Canada. I went to recruit an old friend, somebody who's very near and dear to my heart. I've got no doubt in my mind that as much as he cares about me, he cares about the men in this ring. He cares about this promotion. He cares about changing the face of professional wrestling. At Blood and Guts in two weeks, there is no way we lose. The promo instantly brings to mind Omega's former tag team partner and top free agent, Kota Ibushi, who would recently reveal that his priority is to reunite the Golden Lovers. It's safe to say that he's the favorite to join the Elite, but let me know who you think the two mystery men will be in the comments down below. And before you go, remember to check out 10 AEW stars missing from the AEW Fight Forever video game.